Hi, I'm Jeff Alpin, the Big Game Hunter. I'm the host of the No BS Coaching Advice Podcast here on Anchor.fm. If you've always wanted to start a podcast, Anchor makes it ridiculously easy to do it. You know, Anchor is a one-stop shop for recording, hosting, and distributing your podcast. And best of all, it's completely free and ridiculously easy to use. I know I've used two other services. One was very expensive, like $700 a month expensive until I realized I was getting hosed. And now it costs me much less, but it still costs me. Another service that's inexpensive, but it still costs me. Again, it's 100% free. And now Anchor can match you with great sponsors too, so you can get paid to podcast. I do no BS coaching advice here, and it is a breeze. I, I can record on my laptop. I can record live off my phone. Again, very, very easy to use. So if you've always wanted to start a podcast and make money doing it, go to anchor.fm forward slash start to join me and the diverse community of podcasters already using Anchor. That's anchor.fm forward slash start. I can't wait to hear your podcast. This is an OBS Coaching Advice Podcast, Episode 139. I'm your host, Jeff Alpin, the Big Game Hunter, and welcome. Minimally, I like to spend a little bit of time weekly talking with you about some aspect of life, the universe, and everything. And last week, I in- introduced what I'll refer to as an in between episode, something I released later in the week about prioritizing that I thought would be helpful and allow us to stay connected. Hope you liked it, and I hope you continue to listen to the show and get value from it. This weekend, as often happens, some things surfaced that I thought would make sense to create a show around. And I'll say last night I was watching an episode of Hard Knocks, which this year is following the Los Angeles Raiders in training camp. Their head coach, John Gruden, walked out for a meeting uh, with his team. And this is a packed meeting room because there were a lot more players in, in training camp than there are during the season. So they've got 90 people in camp. They'll eventually wheedle it down into the 40s. And he walked out, and in an effort to make his point, he said very simply, in addition to practice, there are four things that you're responsible for. Eat, treat, sleep, and meet. Eat. Eat properly. Don't eat crap. Minimize that, because these are big guys and they're used to eating crap. Uh, you know, but take care of yourself and your body. Treat any injury that you have. Don't ignore it, because it could become a lot worse. Sleep. Get your sleep in, because you can't perform at your highest level if you're sleep def- uh, deprived. And meet. Get into the meeting rooms with the coaches, Work on the things that you have to from a meeting perspective. Folks, I can't make it more simple for you. In addition to doing your job, you have to eat properly, treat any sort of illness or injury, and not try and power through them because all that happens is things tend to get worse. You sleep properly so that you can come in and be ready to perform. And in terms of meeting, there may not be an opportunity to meet, but I'm going to substitute network. Network with people. Connect with people. Make the point of staying in contact with others. You'll feel better. You'll perform better. And isn't that really what you want? When I was a young boy, I remember being at sleepaway camp and uh, we were doing an overnight and you knew there were animals out there and you really didn't want to get acquainted with them. So what we learned to do, I'm not sure how we learned it, but we got the idea that if we whistled, it might scare the animals and we could convince ourselves that we weren't afraid. Think about that for a second. Whistling in the dark to convince ourselves that we aren't afraid. How many situations do you see people whistling in the dark trying to convince themselves that they're not afraid? Maybe you too, 
But as adults, and maybe your children, there are things that they do, things that we do to persuade ourselves that we're not scared of stepping into things. Just be aware of when you feel like whistling and what form the whistling takes. When I lived in New York, I remember going to showcases for singers and performers, and they had a tremendous amount of talent. And you start to realize that the people in these showcases aren't going to make it. They're never going to be big. They may have a nice little career, but they're never going to be the big performer, the huge success, the ones we all know by first name. Talent only really takes you so far. You've got to want it and do all the right things to get the success that you want. Your appetites for things, your hunger for it, your drive, your determination has to show up because otherwise you're just one of those people in the showcase. And unfortunately, you stay at that level. Is that really what you want or do you want more? Sunday mornings, I get together with friends and we'll sit for about two hours with one another, having a bite of food and just talking. And often I set the theme for the conversation. Yesterday's theme was about progress because we've all known one another's story about our hardships and our heartaches, but we don't always hear the good stuff, the self-aware statement of what the progress is that someone's making, where they were and now where they see themselves today. And I think that's true of more than just us. It's probably true of you too. Every once in a while, Put something on your calendar every six months. Take a moment. Acknowledge your progress. Start with where you were and where you are now. You'll discover you've really moved away. And, and I don't think it's good to do it daily because I just think it becomes an annoyance if you do it that way. But every six months, if you take a minute and write a note to yourself or you and your wife, husband, or partner sit down with one another and talk about the progress you as individuals have made and how you see you as a couple have made. I think it serves you. I think it also serves you if professionally you think of it as well. And maybe you're with a group of people and you need to connect with one another. Take a minute, talk with them about the progress you've made for yourself and what you see for the team and its progress. I think you will be impressed by how powerful that experience is. So that's today's show. I hope you enjoyed it. And if you did, subscribe in Apple Podcasts, Spotify, Google Play, wherever you listen to the show. Just subscribe so you get downloads whenever I release a new episode. Each show is going to be bite-sized morsels of advice, just like today's. I hope you enjoyed it, and I do hope you subscribe. And if you do choose to subscribe, I hope you decide to support the show. There's a link that will take you to anchor.fm where you can make a pledge in support of the show. I'd greatly appreciate it. If you're interested in my coaching you, connect with me on LinkedIn at linkedin.com forward slash IN forward slash the big game hunter. Mention that you listen to the show. I just happen to like knowing I'm helping some folks. And once we're connected, message me about your interest in, in coaching. We'll set up a free call. We'll get acquainted. See if it makes sense. I'll be back soon with more. And in the meantime, I hope you have a great day. Take care.